Hello everyone, how are you? Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Bill Brown. I'm with NetPower and A Rivers Capital. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces here today and, and so thank all of you for coming and I'd like to thank the Global CCS Institute for everything it does to make today possible at the same time to drive one of the most important technologies we can possibly drive. I'm not going to be using this. Uh, CCS is important. It's really important. In fact, without it, we're not going to meet our climate targets. I know that's a pretty bold statement, and I know that there are a lot of people out there who are trying to, to focus on multiple technologies and multiple vectors for fixing climate change. So how do we know that CCS is so essential? Well, we actually go to a group of people who disagree with each other and agree with each other, and that's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change from the United Nations. They represent all sorts of views. Some, some, some are on one end of the equation, some want to keep fossil fuels in the ground, some are, are, are focused on nuclear. They have so many divergent views. But the one thing about the IPCC is it's trying to find truth. According to the IPCC, we will not be able to meet our climate targets if we don't do CCS with capturing CO2 directly from the atmosphere. If we don't do CCS, capturing CO2 from point sources such as power plants, cement plants, and other industrial processes. According to the IPCC, we need to limit our carbon, our, our our temperature emissions, our temperature growth to 1.5 degrees. That means, going through several hundred scenarios, we need to hit net zero roughly by 2050. Hitting net zero by 2050 is a, is a tall order. When you do the math, that means every day between now and 2050, we've got to retrofit, replace, or offset three to six billion dollars every day of carbon emitting equipment. That's a big number. It's a lot of money to spend. Moreover, in making that lift, if we just do it in the United States, no matter how many trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars we spend in the United States, Unless we fix the problem in China, India, Europe, Africa, and the rest of the world, we'll fail. Similarly, if we just focus on the power sector but ignore the industrial sector, the transportation sector, and agriculture, we will fail. My personal view is policy will not really drive that, especially in, to, in today's world of, of, the, of multilateralism having so many challenges. Instead, economics has to drive. Instead, we've got to make clean cheaper than dirty. Net power is one of the technologies that can help. Net power has full carbon capture in natural gas plants at costs that are comparable to existing natural, can, uh, cap, natural gas plants that pollute. After a dozen or so plants, our costs will be even cheaper. What's our cost of capturing CO2? Roughly $4 a ton. Why so cheap? Now, power is about cogeneration. And cogeneration is so, so important in, in the industrial symbiosis that we must find in our future. Simultaneously with producing electrons, we also produce other saleable products, such as carbon dioxide, argon, and even nitrogen. And in places like China, we can take their coal and use that same technology and gasify that coal, and we can produce clean electricity. Then in the United States, China, and the rest of the world, we can take biomass and produce clean power while sequestering the carbon that that removed from the atmosphere. The IPCC calls this BECS, Biomass Energy with Carbon Capture. Currently, net power is in contract negotiations with, with, uh, for power plants all around the world. You'll hear more about these in the coming weeks, and then this next week you'll hear about four net power plants. 
These will be coupled with LNG liquefaction. The facility will be certified as zero emissions from wellhead to ship. And on the far end, we will place net power plants to make the entire cycle cradle to grave zero emissions. That's just a taste of what we're up to at Net Power. And I want to thank all of you for coming today and supporting not just Net Power, but all these other technologies in the room. Thank you.